Hi guys, it's Kathy. Today I'm bringing you a review which I'm very excited about and that is on the Too Faced Sweet Indulgence palette set. Now this is the first time I've ever gotten any of Too Faced's products. I've never tried them before. I've heard only pretty much good things particularly regarding their primer. Uh, but this was on sale on Beauty Bay. I think I got it for about $60. And yes, I saw it and I went, I love the colours which are in here, so I'm going to try it out. Uh, so I haven't taken it out of its box yet, so we'll see what it looks like. So the box is actually, it's like a tin, it's like those old um, tin pencil cases you used to get when you were at school. And it says here you get 16 eyeshadows, 2 blushes, 2 bronzers, a highlighter. Uh, a full size shadow endurance eyeshadow primer and a brush which is dual ended. So open her up. To start off with, you get your eyeshadows on top, which looks like that. And this little board just slides out, and you've got your blushes, bronzers, highlighter, and eyeshadow primer underneath. So I'm assuming this can just sit up in here. Mm. There we go. Bring that back. So that's what the palette looks like. So to start with with the eyeshadows. Uh, we've got a range of they're about half of them are neutrals and then half are colours, but there seems to be more greens in it than than other colours, which I actually like because I obviously like colours, but um, start off with the top row, you've got Lovey Dovey, Marshmallow, Peach Fuzz, and In the Buff. Then you've got Copper Peony, Peony, I can never pronounce how that flower is. It's a very pretty flower, but I can never remember how to pronounce it. Teddy Bear, Gumdrop, and Malted Milk. Ball. Righto. Uh, then you've got Cherry Cola, Nice Ash, Nice Stems, and Satin Sheets. And then at the bottom you've got Honeymoon, Pastille, Copper Teal, and Black Sugar. So those are the different colours. As far as their pigmentation goes, um, I'll take a, I'll swatch a handful for you. Uh, we'll take the white because they're usually fairly hard to get pigmentation on. The peach, the dark green, and the black. Okay, so this one here is in the buff. It is just a white. And I suppose the pigmentation isn't too bad. It's not 100%, but it'll do, um, particularly if you're not planning on wanting a solid white base, if you're just wanting to put a little bit of a highlight or whatever. Uh, the next one is Peach Fuzz. Uh, it's not really peachy. It's more of a cream than anything, but that's all right. It um, comes off quite well, and it doesn't look like there's too much fallout from the sparkles in it, which is good. Uh, the next, which is Pastille, which is the very dark green, is beautiful. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this particular colour. So it's this one here. And then Black Sugar. I think this one will give quite a bit of fallout. But um, it's just a nice sparkly black colour. So certainly nothing to complain about there. Um, and I'll just take another couple, just because... I want to see what they look like too. All right, um, this one here is Lovey Dovey. Uh, this one here is Lovey Dovey, and it's just a very nice shimmery mid to dark brown. Then Copper Peony, Peony is, I'd say it's more gold than copper but um, it's still a very nice colour. Then Gumdrop, which is just a pale sparkly pink, which is a very fun colour. And then this one here is Cherry Cola, which is a deep plum, 
deep plum shimmer which I think will look magnificent in the crease line so looking forward to trying that one. So no, overall I'm thinking the colours are fantastic, I love the range. Uh, I would say it does tend a little bit more towards warm toned skin but the blues and um, probably two of the browns are more cool toned so uh, that certainly if you're cool toned skin you can certainly use this palette quite easily but I just just looking at it it gives me makes me think more warm toned skin than the can't talk tonight cool toned skin so then moving on to the other half of the palette uh, you get like I said a full size shadow insurance eye primer which again I have never tried this before but I've heard pretty well only good things about it so it'll be interesting to see if this actually works as well as the height um, the eyeshadow pencil I'm just taking the little accessories out first before I get onto the blushes Ah, okay it's only um, one half of it is a brush the other half is actually a sponge tip applicator so um, I've never actually had a sponge tip applicator that I've liked but I will give this a go and see if it actually works uh, but yes I haven't tried one before and then you get three different looks and they show you how to get them so those are the three there you've got um, pink chocolate, rock candy, and brown sugar. So you've got a pink base, a brown base, and a green base. So I'm sure I will be trying them just to see how they look. I might even do a tutorial on them one time. And then pulling out the, the other half. You've got for your blushes, you've got a peach here, which is Papa, Papa Don't Peach. And then a pink blush, which is La Vie en Rosé. I don't actually think that's how it's pronounced, but that's how I'm going to call it. Then you've got a darkish bronzer here, which is exclusive bronze. And a lighter bronze, which is Sun Bunny Light, which I think this one here is probably the one I'll use most. This one here I think is probably a little dark for my shade, at least for the moment, uh, when I start tanning up because we are coming into summer rapidly. It was stinking hot over the weekend. Anyway, it may be able to suit me in some areas. And then the highlight is Candlelit Glow, which is a very shimmery highlight, so it'll be interesting to see how it goes. But um, I must admit, the Papa Don't Peach blush looks beautiful. I just want to swatch it and see what it looks like. I do apologize for the finger, I'm not trying to give it to you. It's just this one had the least shadow on it from before. Um, so yeah, so you can see there it's a lovely, well obviously peach colored blush. It's very bright, but I think blending it in well will actually look really nice. So yeah, so that's the palette. Um, I am very impressed with it. I can't wait to play around with the eyeshadows a bit. Uh, excuse me, I have no doubt whatsoever that I'm going to be uh, doing a tutorial just on this palette itself like not using anything else um, similar to what I did with one of my next palettes earlier uh, but yes I am looking forward to seeing it and uh, leave comments below on the sort of tutorials you'd like or if you have any questions about it uh, otherwise as always please subscribe and yes I can't wait to see you next time thank you for watching Bye.